Frog fans, welcome to the Frogs Today post-game show. After TCU loses to Iowa State, we talked to head coach Sonny Dykes and a few players following the loss. Yeah, bad one. Yeah, bad one tonight. Um, you know, you're not going to win a football game if you don't play winning football. And, and that's, we have not played winning football. That's the bottom line. We had four turnovers, a blocked punt, bad punts. Go back to last week, we had two blocked field goals, missed field goal. You know, you play, if you're going to win a game, you have to play winning football. And we're just not we're not playing winning football. And, and our players are playing hard. There's no effort issues. There's no, um, I mean, they're, they're playing hard. They're just, we can't get out of our own way. You know, we, um, we just make critical mistakes in critical situations. We're bad in the red zone. Um, our special teams are bad you know, in critical situations when we need them to, to, to be good. And we've been good on teams. We've been good in situations. I don't really have a, uh, an explanation for it, but we're going to have to get it fixed. We've got to get a lot better. What's the status of Chandler? You know, I don't know. I, we'll, we'll get a good evaluation on him tomorrow. I, you know, we'll see. I don't really know for sure. Um, in terms of you got a three and three team, a lot of these guys want a national championship. You know. Yeah, for sure. You worry about keeping them engaged and interested? I don't think so. No, actually, I don't. I, I don't think that's the issue right now. Honestly, I, I really don't. I think that the effort, the work is good. I mean, if you watch us practice, the guys practice hard. We practice well. Um, you know, the effort's there. It's there. It's just we just are not executing at all. And we get into these games and, you know, we do things that we don't do in practice. I mean, it's I don't understand quite why. I don't really understand it. Um, you know, we've, like I said, we gave up a punt block. We've never, I mean, we just, th things like, like that. I mean, we miss a block inside. The guy on the wedge has to adjust over. They block us off the edge. I mean, it's all, none of it's stuff that, um, is any kind of mystery. I mean, it's not scheme stuff. It's just, I mean, we get on, we go, we get on a fourth down and our back runs the wrong, wrong way on fourth and one. You know, early in the game, and we give them a short field, and you, and that's been what we've done all year. You know, when you look at critical situations last week, I mean, we have a chance to go up 28-14. You know, last week, and we release the wrong way. We run inside. We're going to dump the ball down in the back. He's going to walk in the end zone, and we do something we've never done before. And that's the kind of stuff that's just plagued us right now. And that's why. We're three and three. We, we don't have an ability to execute in critical situations. And again, that always that starts by us looking in the mirror and saying, "Okay, what are we doing wrong?" You know, and it's the same. We're doing the same thing that we did right last year, and we have to figure out how to fix it. Because, like I said, it's not a mystery. I mean, you can't have four turnovers and get a punt blocked and expect to beat anybody. It's just not how football works. And so we have to get it fixed. Were those interceptions, was that just Chandler seeing something else? Or? Yeah, I think he got confused on the first one. Um, I think he thought the inside receiver was going to loop around the linebacker, and, and the, there wasn't any reason for him to. I think it was just a confusion issue. Um, you know, Josh obviously – you know, it's the same thing. You, you play a little bit too desperate. You know, he tried to throw the corner out when when corner did a good job baiting him into throwing the corner, and he should have thrown the flat. You know, there's just some things that, that happened in the game, um, you know, some decisions that we just got to get fixed up. You know, we just got to get the stuff fixed. And, and as I said, I'm, our guys are playing hard. You know, the defense, I thought, really played hard with their back against the wall the whole night. Um, I never saw them give up. Um, I saw a lot of fight out of our guys. We just make so many mistakes. It just doesn't give us a chance to win. When you watch Chandler, I know from a thousand feet, up, yep. it's easy, but he looks like a guy who's like a mile in his own head. Is he overthinking things at all? Um, I don't know. I, I think I think he's probably trying to do too much. You know what I mean? And I think that's what some young quarterbacks have a tendency to do sometimes. And um, you know, we've got to we've got to get him to to not try to do too much. Is he carrying? Because it looks like the way his body language is like he's carrying the whole weight of the team on his shoulders for weeks days. Well, I think there's a little bit of that, but I think that's just playing quarterback at, at big time college football. I mean, it's just it, it's just a 
it's not for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a hard thing to do, and um, it's a. And I got a lot of confidence in Chandler. I think he's a really good football player. I think he's learning. I think he's making some mistakes that, again that that guys that haven't started that much make from time to time. And you know, he's given us chances to win games, and and you know, didn't play well enough today to do it. Um, but you know, we've got to figure out how to how to make plays. And when he's playing well, I mean, he he plays really well. So we just got to get him better. Coach, the uh, the lack of success throwing the deep ball, throwing thirty yeah. over twenty yards is that more of a receiver deal? Is that quarterback? Is I think it's a little bit of a combination of a lot of things. We don't um, we haven't taken that many shots, and so when we, we we've taken them, we haven't hit them, and that's been been an issue. And, and we've got to improve that part of our passing game. Amani well, Bailey was a bright spot. And usually, you said a few weeks ago, when you have that kind of rushing yard, you usually win a game. You do. Yep. About. Yeah, yeah. When you run the ball like we did, I mean, when you have somebody that that averages seven and seven point two yards a carry and runs for one hundred fifty two yards, typically you win the game because you know normally you don't turn it over four times or get a pump blocked. You know what I mean? And that's or you know fail fail to execute in critical situations, and that's what we've done. Oh, you we'll two more questions. Oh, you're used coaching. You been in a year like this where just uh, some of these things don't add up. Yeah, um, it's a little perplexing right now. Yeah. Last question. What do you guys go, Sam, where do you go from here? What do you tell your team to? Just got to come back to work tomorrow, and we got to fix some things, and we, we got to do a better job of coaching, obviously, and it starts with us, and then we got to figure out where do we go from here, you know, with uh, with that and coach details and continue to, you know, to do a better job. That's all we can do. And the players, will, the, the good thing is, like I said, these guys have not quit, and um, that has not been an issue. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Very frustrating. You know, we know that we're better than what we're playing like, so it can be very frustrating at times knowing that we haven't reached our full potential and just going on and on and on, but we're going to figure it out. What gives you confidence that you feel like we, these six games have been really inconsistent? So what, what gives you confidence that you think in these last six games you can figure it out, get kind of be over that hump and play more consistent and stuff like that? I'd say even the games that we did play, like even the wins, we haven't fully put it together. So whether it be defense playing a good game or offense playing a good game or special teams playing a game, we haven't put it together all in one yet. So as soon as we can figure this out and put it all together, I know our best football is ahead of us. In terms of like what's ahead of you, you've got six games, you know, you're going to have to win three to at least get to a bowl game, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any concern about that at all? No concern at all. The goal is to win out. Went out. That's the goal. Win each week. Coach said you guys actually played pretty decent on defense tonight. But how tough is it when your back is against the wall like it was tonight with those turnovers and block punts? We expect this, you know. Put it on defense all the time. It's okay. We expect the pressure and anything that comes with it. We're going to fully support the offense whenever whatever comes with it. Whenever. Is there anything Iowa State showed tonight that you didn't really expect to see? They were just a physical team. Physical team. Hats off to them. Anything else, Brady? Right. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks. Sure. Appreciate you. I mean, I really, I don't pay no attention to um, how many yards I really begin. I just try to help win as a team. Um, it's hard to, you know, take a, a loss as a team to someone we know we can beat. So it's um, back to the drawing board again and uh, figure out what's going on so we can um, be successful. you guys kind of know what's going on, what's going on wrong right now? Not exactly. We just, um, just got to keep going back to the drawing board and, you know, figure out how to get the click in. That way we can be, you know, successful in, uh, in every play, in every possession. We just got to just gotta keep working. Does it feel like to you guys that you're really close? Because it does look like well, so many plays you look like one inch away from the old ground. Does it feel that way on the sidelines or even the backfield? Yeah. Um, it's definitely, you could definitely feel it that it's there. You know, we just got to be better at executing and finishing. And um, once we figure that out as a team, I feel like we'll be, you know, monstrous. We just got to. Just gotta find it. Keep working. Anything change? You go from a 
quarterback who played a little bit to a quarterback who hadn't really played very much at all, but didn't really change. Um, at, at the end of the day, um, whoever's in, they we all gonna go to work as a team. Uh, whether whether I'm not in, whether another running back's in, another quarterback's in, we all gonna keep trying to play as one to win as a team. You guys had some changes up front and Brandon back at left tackle and look at a right tackle. How do you think the line did create your own lanes for you tonight? They did an outstanding job. Um, I really. I really could see the the passion that they had in in moving the ball and getting a good push up front, and they definitely did an outstanding job with that. Two more for Amani. Amani, have you kind of been shocked? You guys Um, yeah, uh, I definitely. This definitely wasn't the you know the goal of the season, uh, especially in of the start of it. So. Uh, so um, uh, that's definitely a shock, but still got more games to go. We still got to go finish and uh, you know find find ourselves, find find our team. If there's a change of quarterback, like it was today in the game, how much pressure does that put on you as the key guy on the offense? Uh, no pressure at all. Um, gonna do what I keep doing as as a team, as a good teammate. Um, whether it's Hoover back there, whether it's Chandler back there, I'm going to be the best teammate I can to go help win. TCU drops to 3-3 three and three on the season. They'll look to get back on track when they host BYU next Saturday at 2.30. We'll see you there. Go Frogs!